Hey there everyone, welcome to Joshing Around. This is a new YouTube channel where we play games and we are not good at it, but we do try and have fun. This is a new indie game off itch.io called The Lost Room. It is a horror game, so let's jump right in. Son, we're gone. Don't forget to collect toys before we arrive. Good mom, I understood you. Have a good time. Alright, let's check this place out. That is a pretty nice TV for what appears to be the son's room. You can definitely tell the game was made in Unity, because if it was made in Unity, they've put this rabbit in there somewhere. So let's see what we've got ahead of us. Okay. Already got some fun glitches. Oh. Uh, it's never good in a game like this whenever you see a rocking chair. That that just does not end well for you. So let's see what else we've got going on. We've got some candles here. Appears we cannot do anything with. Let's check this. Apparently I have nothing to do there. And I can't just leave the house. Very typical white guy answer to this. So we've got the bathroom with two bathtubs for some reason. Don't think I've ever seen that before. Alright, let's check out this room. We've got the kitchen. We've got some more candles. A pot. Ooh. Always good to have a lighter. Boom. And now we've got fire. And now I'm gonna burn the house down. Because from what I can understand, I am 12. And... I am currently playing with fire. That always bodes well. Alright. I've got my cup of coffee, so I'm ready for my homework, I guess. Let's see. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate, because that is a nice looking TV. Parents are going to be pissed. Alright, time to clean up some toys. Clearly not very good at this. Why my parents have to remind me every time. Doot to doot. There is. There is. Let's see what's in here. Oh. My father forbids me to come in there in his absence. Mom's cool with it though. Is there anything else for me to do? Doot to do. Alright. So now I just walk around and light stuff on fire, I guess. got uh, some very useless magnets on the board and my coffee maker my favorite toy as a child is there a candle I'm missing or something oh no I just needed to go in here and black out for a little bit how do you know my parents don't have keys hello I am sorry. I'm not... Son of a bitch. Well, I'm not allowed to answer the door for strangers, and, uh... What the hell does the children are indulging mean? I guess we've had a lot of chocolate lately? The good thing is, so far, this game is, uh, not huge. So it's not very difficult to walk around. Even when you have no guidance. You can usually just luck your way into it. For instance, I know that I shouldn't be in here because daddy's not home. What the hell? Oh shit, what type of little kid am I? I, I didn't like that. Holy balls! Okay, well, got my daily dose of heart attack. And that's locked. Can I get, like, a flashlight or something? Oh. Well, that was handy. Ha-ha! Ah, -ha. uh, and there's the key. I don't like clicking stuff. Why the hell do my parents have a cement mixer? Who is buried under here? Alright. 
this sucks. It's good whenever a child has a uh, flashlight, a lighter, and nothing else. And what the hell is with that red door? Oh, good. The lamp of Satan. It's always fun. Oh, shit! Not like this guy. I'm hoping I can circle around him. I apparently cannot. Unless running past him causes him to glitch out. It just sounds like he's running at you constantly. Oh, damn. We have an elevator. Alright, now I want to know what my parents are up to. Let's see. Oh, we got a room full of blood and another... The guy with the creepy red face. And only the ability to run around him, hopefully. Alright. My battery's almost dying. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay. To be continued. To have a heart attack. Whatever you're feeling. So, uh, that was The Lost Room. It was, uh, an interesting game. I very much enjoyed it. Um, I can't quite see straight, but I had a lot of fun. So this is another itch.io game, The Wuzzle. I don't know too much about it, but the little bit I kind of looked into before starting it, it seems to be one of those games where there's not really an ending, I'm not sure how much of a story there is. The main thing is to survive as long as you can and rack up as high of a score as possible. So let's first look at the story. At first you think it's nothing more than a bad dream, but then you realize you can't smell the puddle of blood that lies before you if it had been a dream. Seems like you'd be able to smell the blood if it was real, so I'm not really sure what that means. But no. It's not a dream. This is reality. Here to stay. You could have done something. Anything. It's your fault. Being too preoccupied. No, being too selfish. Ignorant. You ignored the fact the woods are no place for a five-year-old. Yet you let her roam there anyways. Here you are. What are you going to do with yourself now? Sit here in the woods and weep? Who knows what the hell time it is. Sitting here's a bad idea. You don't want to end up like her. Looking over seeing what looks to be a large pile of hamburger meat and bones. There you go again, you tell yourself. Ignorant. That's kind of a blasé response to apparently uh, having a five-year-old girl disintegrate into hamburger meat. Well, let's get into the game and see what we're in for. Oh great, it is dark. And I already found a wall. Oh man, the stamina in this game is not great. You can sprint for about three steps before you're dead. And I hate any type of game where your entire field of view is a flashlight. Come on, there's no moon at all in these woods. Too Blair Witchy. Of course, my main reason for criticizing games like this is that I am terrified, and it's easier to laugh than it is to scream. Well, I think you're gonna find it's pretty easy for me to scream as well. Nice! 500 points! I wonder if I could just sit in a corner. Get as many points as possible. I know you're not supposed to camp in things like Call of Duty, but maybe it's okay in a horror game where you're playing by yourself. I am kind of curious what the wuzzle is. It's definitely some interesting gameplay right here as I stroll through the woods and keep running into walls. 
this is uh, Josh's drunk simulator. Chances are, if you find my body in the woods, don't assume it was the wuzzle. Assume I tripped and fell down a hole. Because I'm not even that good at running in this game, and it appears to be a giant square. Oh, and here's where I die in real life. I can't figure out what those bars in the top left mean. I'm hoping it's my life. I figure if I just stare forward, maybe nothing will get me. How I deal with any anyone breaking into my home, I just hide under the blankets. And there's no way they can hurt me. I'm racking up points, though. I'm pretty sure I'm about to find out that there was nothing there in the first place. Oh, I guess that was the battery on the flashlight. Huh. I'm not sure how scared I can be when the screen is completely black, except for showing my lack of athleticism, which I feel is unnecessary for a video game to get into in the first place. I, I know that I don't exercise. You don't need to put that into a game. This is where I go to escape the world where I don't exercise. I keep seeing some like red flash in front of me. I'm thinking that's the wuzzle. Well, at least I'm getting points. I wonder if this is the game where... I probably put it on the mode where there are no enemies. I'm just in peaceful exploratory mode. So I get infinite points, but in return I have to wander around the woods in complete darkness. So Josh has reached blackout drunk mode. I have never wanted to see the wuzzle so badly. I was curious at first, and now I am desperate. Oh, wuzzle, wuzzle, wuzzle -y. I'm right here. Making a lot of noise. If you don't get me soon, a bear will. I might just be running into a wall at this point for all I know. I keep seeing that little bit of red, but he's not attacking me. He's just watching me? Because if you could see in the dark, I'm pretty sure this would be a hilarious game as I wander randomly. I almost don't want to leave this spot because at least I can see up. There's a little bit of light. It's like the light at the end of the tunnel. Is this what it's like when you're playing hide and seek and the other person just doesn't want to come look for you? I see those flashes of red light occasionally. See that? What is, is that the wuzzle? If so, he should, he should come hang out. Come here, Mr. Wuzzle. Woozily woo. I think that's going to be enough for today. I hope you enjoyed this walk through the darkness. And I hope you will join me next time when I am checking out a newish game on Steam called Visage. That I'm pretty sure is going to have some more jump scares. So with that, I will say have a great day. Have a great night. Remember... Nothing out there can be that scary, as long as you make fun of it.